Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I apologize even before I make this video. <clears throat> so, basically, I was planning to make a lot of videos. Um, one of them was who will see in w early winter. Another one was um, official snowfall outlook for the win It was a, a bunch of videos I was planning. And they were, you know, supposed to be uploaded already a week ago, but I've been so busy. So I apologize that I've been just uploading these long-range forecasts. I mean, I, I want to put out something, at least something, so not just, you know, nothing. And um, I will try fitting a lot of videos in during the weekend, so... Um, hopefully you will stay tuned for that, and hopefully you will, hopefully you will enjoy this video first off. Um, so what we're going to be talking about in this video is the strong cold front that will be passing by with this system that is already generating across the Midwest. And, um, basically with this system, what, uh, the, the cool thing is that it's going to basically switch a pattern around for the next 10 to 15 days, just because of this one system, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Um, if you like these, however, if you like these forecasts, if you like these videos, if you like my channel, if you like anything about this channel, consider giving this a like, consider subscribing. Um, if you're an old returning member, haven't subscribed yet, like old returning viewer, this is like your 17th video, but you're not subscribed, oh, please do, so you'll do me such a great favor, and... Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for would, if you did that to me. So, um, I would l thank you for that, and let's just get on with the video. So, right now, we're looking at hour 6, 12Z Thursday, and this is, sep whoa, there, okay, September 20th, 2018. You can see there's a big system. It's kind of elong elongated. There's a lot... A lot of severe weather that is going to be going on with this system, especially somewhere around the... Um, Sioux Falls, Sioux City, um, Minneapolis, Minnesota... Minneapolis, Minnesota, that's what I meant to say, Rochester, Minnesota, areas in this upper Midwest, that's not necessarily the North Woods, it's just like um, parts of the Midwest, those parts, and you can see this system, I mean, tons of heavy rain with this system, up to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inches of rain, I know that's a big range, but if you're under one certain sun thunderstorm several times in a row, um, yeah, you could definitely get eight inches, so you can see this is fairly strong, 997, you can see this is just such characteristics of a fall, <clears throat> so, what I mean by characteristics of a fall, if you go to, right, if you just make this, uh, let's just make this black, I'll draw out this, so here, obviously, defined, there's a cold front, fairly obvious to see, and somewhere between, um, right in here, there's a warm front, and along that, there's this band of rain that is associated, it's pushing north, as you could see, and the system becomes more wrapped, and becomes more like a bowling ball, I mean, look, it just absolutely wrecks through, say, parts of south southeastern Canada, and you could see that this, eventually, if this were to be right, which, I do think it may be right because this is hour 36 out and you can see it's showing 978. So would that mean a very um, powerful storm? Yes. And you can see some snow developing. So a very powerful storms, um, a very powerful storm. And what I meant to say is that we don't, we just simply, there's just not the right ingredients don't form in the summer to produce such big storms. So this is already... I mean, we're obviously into fall at this point. Meteorologically, astronomically, it starts tomorrow, I'm fairly sure, the 21st. And technically, um, I meant to say, basically, these storms are going to get bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger, with more snow and snow um, appearing on their back ends of their sides. And soon enough, we'll be seeing just big snowstorms riding up the East Coast, going down the Midwest. And all I'm saying is that we're definitely getting into the winter, fall winter pattern uh, versus the summer pattern. So, um, you can see after this, there's a high pressure, there's a cold shot of air. Um, not, not necessarily cold in the sense that none of these cold shots will be cold. They'll just bring cooler conditions. Um, they can bring some frosts, some freezes, so if you want to define that as cold, yeah, sure, it will bring some cold, but bitter air, below zero, none of that, that is way too early for that, yet, it's only September 23rd, or at this point, September 23rd, in case you're wondering where the date is, it's right here, oh, sorry, it's 18, this is currently hour 78, this is Sunday, September 23rd, tw uh, 2018, and you can see there's a cold shot of air that went through, and I'll show you the temperatures in a minute, but with this, with associated with this system, there's going to be a pole of warm air, you can see these winds just going from the south, indicated by the isobars, just streaming from the south, a lot of <coughs> warm Gulf Mexico moisture air that is going to be loaded with moisture and you can see that passes through and behind that there's another gold 
sorry, another cold shot of air that is very, actually even stronger. And what I meant by that one storm at the beginning, um, producing this pattern, because this storm just basically sets up the pattern of, um, of the basically the high pressure or low pressure followed by high pressure. So a brief warm up with the system, and then right after high pressure with lots of cold air, and then the low tries bringing through some cooler air. But this will be, I mean, you can see a lot of snow down near the southern sections. This is because the cool cold air will be already in place. Um, not this system is just way too far to the north and not strong enough to bring in much air from the Gulf of Mexico. It could be some warm air along the east coast, but not in the Midwest. And you can see that presses through. And then we could start seeing a warming up trend towards the beginning part of October. But again, this is, I mean, what, what were you going to expect? Like, you know, 20s in, Oct in October in, down in Chicago, Illinois? No, so this is definitely still not winter. This is just the cold fall blast that's going to occur. If we were going if we were going to go to, yeah, see this what I'm talking about. This is our 384, sub, uh, no, August 6th, Saturday. You could see cooler and then warmer for a lot of the country. So, um, you know, it's definitely not going to stay cold for long, though it could be definitely around 10 days. So it depends whether you want to call 10 days long or short and in which in what terms. So this is what we're looking at right now. You can see the system right here um, bringing in tons and tons and tons of moisture. And this system, as I was showing, warm front right here, cold front right here, very warm air. I mean, today we were sweltering in around 95 in Chicago, September, basically the first, almost the first day of fall. I mean, it was, it was really brutal. I mean, it was oppressive. The heat was literally slapping you in the face as soon as you stepped outside. It was literally oppressive. You felt like if there's something pushing against you. So very unpleasant, very uncomfortable conditions today with this big storm. However, um, the relief is, I mean, I guess we could say the pay the pay for this big storm and this war and this you know for going through these not so good great conditions is that finally cooler air behind you, you could see um passes through some cool air however like I was talking about this storm brings in quite a bit of warm air the second storm up with it but you could see a whole reservoir of cold air up in the north of Canada and that is just ready to unload so you can see this system right here warm front cold front and behind it it just brings another cool shot of air and then I was talking about this little system trying to make its way through it after that system the cold air could not wait more longer all hell breaks loose and you could see way below average temperatures for anywhere from I would say the coldest temperatures we could see is or are from about the 26th 27th through about the um, to about October 2nd, 3rd, and then after that it should start moderating, but you can see the cooler air still wants to persist here, while again there's warm air across the north which will eventually make its way down south, so it's only a matter of time. Um, if you were actually to look at 2 meter temp shaded, which actually shows you the um, shaded temperatures, which is the actual temperatures in Fahrenheit, 2 meter air temperature, and uh, if we were to Okay, so this is right now you can see 70s, 80s, 90s all across these areas and that quickly gets pushed out by the cooler shot of air. I'm not necessarily cold. You can see it starts warming up back again. Another cooler shot of air. You can see some 40s, 50s during the night and then after this system which tries so hard to bring in so much warm air but like I was talking about the east coast may see some warm air not necessarily parts of the upper midwest and then that just brings it. I mean look at, see, look, look at that. That is just frost all the way down to um, central Minnesota on the level with Minneapolis. So on well, that, you could see another cold night, 30s, 40s, maybe a um, season-ending frost for many people that garden. I mean, look at that. That's fairly vigorous right there. And then that seems to back off towards the end. But I'm just telling you guys, a warm day will not, I don't think we'll have another night, like, warm. Like, what we had, if you live in, um, in the areas of, say, south of Milwaukee, Chicago, all the way down to the Gulf Coast, and east of the Colorado Rockies, anywhere from there, I think, anywhere you see these warm temperatures, I think that this was your last um, true hot day of the um, fall or summer. Obviously, parts of the southeast and south will still, but like, 
we'll still get some, you know, some warm temperatures right here, but like the average is going down and with these cooler than average conditions, we can we could be missing the opportunity of seeing our last warm temperatures and then that could just mean um you could you could see 30s and 40s and a warm day being in the 60s, not 90s. I know I don't 90 today here in Chicago was an absolute anomaly was an absolute not was an absolute temperature swing that temperature roller coaster that would not I don't think will happen for quite a while maybe some with a huge warm air mass um maybe possibly in early October that's that's the best chance of seeing that um if you go to total accumulated precip just to show you the total total amount of precip that will fall in the next 10 days you could see nothing too insane um some with this associated with these storms that will be passing by some um heavy rainfall amounts right there and overall i think texas southern texas will have the uh, worst issues with the flooding and heavy rain but overall not nothing too extreme about in terms of heavy rain so thank you guys so much for watching please consider liking the video please consider subscribing to my channel and as always i'll see you guys on the next episode